everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sophie. I'm a mum to a two-year-old little boy, a Siberian Husky and maybe a few too many houseplants. So in today's video, I'm bringing you a little haul, quite literally a tiny haul. Um, I went shopping over the weekend, um, got my hair done. I have got a vlog coming up soon. Just giving you like a general catch up of what I've been up to over the past month or so. Now, as it was a Saturday, we didn't really go into too many shops because a couple of them were heaving, um, but Primark was actually surprisingly quiet. They were only letting a few people in at a time, which made the whole experience really, really nice. But yeah, so if anything, shopping in Primark right now is actually a lot more enjoyable than what it would have been a year ago. So in this haul, I've got a few bits from Primark. My first purchase from Oliver Bonus, and I think I've said that right, <laughs> and a couple of purchases that I have made on Depop as well. So I don't really know how long this video is going to be once I edit it, um, but yeah, let's get into the haul. Now the first thing I've already used because obviously I've had to wash my hair, um, but it's a round brush um, to sort of fluff out my fringe. Um, so this, um, what I've done is on day two hair. I don't really know if I'm going to keep the curtain bangs, I mean they're not very curtainy um they are quite far apart um but if i get to a point where i really hate it then i may just get a straight across fringe have it a little bit choppy and then i'll still need this anyway but this was something daft like one pound fifty yeah so this brush was only one pound fifty in primark which is great because i don't ever really like to spend a lot of money on just a hairbrush. Carrying on with the hair theme, I did pick up a pack of free scrunchies. So there's a grey one, a sort of nudie peachy colour, and this is my absolute favourite. So it's a like a ditzy floral one. I bought myself some trainer socks. Um, so these are both the cotton rich um, trainer socks. It's a mustard colour, like a white um, um, like a dusky pink some nudes and what I really liked I don't know if you can probably see but they have like a knitted texture um, and these were £2.50 each and then these ones are like spotty in a way um, so they have like that organic um, cotton type look to them they're basically all shades of beige and then these ones are spotty I only bought like pyjamas and that sort of stuff the first thing I spotted was this white uh, camisole top um, it's like a silky sort of material and then it has like I don't know it's like a a scalloped lace detail in a way I guess and then it's got like gold and white but <laughs> I kind of decided against getting this at the checkout and I said to the guy who was serving me um, to leave this one um, because I decided against it and I picked up something else that I kind of liked a little bit more um, which was a little bit annoying because he scanned it through anyway and just popped it in the bag and didn't even listen to me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was £6 for just a camisole, which I think is a little bit expensive. So I haven't decided if I'm actually going to keep this yet. I'm going to see how it fits um, when I try it on and then decide from there. Um, if it came with a pair of shorts or something, then I'd probably keep it. But £6 for just a cami in Primark seems a little bit expensive to me I don't know and then this is the set that I actually picked up to replace the other top so this is a short and cami set so it has like a white and grey stripe and then pink detailing going around the chest and it's on the trim of the shorts now I got the set of two for seven pounds <laughs> so when you compare seven pounds for a whole set six pounds for just one cami I don't know, I kind of feel a little bit ripped off with this, but like I said, we will see. I picked up a pair of slippers. Um, I don't actually have any slippers where the toes are open, like for warmer weather. Um, I do have some slipper boots, but obviously way too hot for those. Um, so these were only three pounds, which is a crazy price, I think. Um, I don't think I've even bought slipper socks for as cheap as three pound before. Um, but yeah, so I absolutely love these, plus the nice thing is the sole part is memory foam, so they are very, very comfortable. The only thing that I'm finding is they feel a little bit awkward to walk up the stairs in, 
um, but that just might be me. And then lastly, I did pick up a set of earrings. These ones were in the sale, they were a pound. I'm currently wearing some. I don't know how well you're going to see it, but they are a few different hoops and stud earrings. And then the last thing that I picked up in Primark was actually a little bra. <laughs> um, one of the things that I never ever buy myself is underwear like nice underwear the bra that i'm wearing now is very much like an old lady bra but i tell you something it's the comfiest thing ever i do like it from the comfort aspect but i just really wanted to get something that's like kind of pretty and i love the color of this it's like a i don't know like a dusky pinky mauve it was fairly cheap as well it was only six pounds okay so it's actually the next day now and i've already been to primark and come back and i bought some more things plus i bought some things in a couple charity shops as well so i thought i would just like tuck them all into this little video and then it's just all in one space so yeah so the things that i ended up taking back was the bra and the um white lacy camisole top the bra was really annoying <laughs> um i thought the price was really really good but the underwire instead of it being wire or metal at least it was plastic and every single time I would move it would squeak <laughs> and it's just the smallest thing but it just bugged me a little bit so I ended up taking it back and plus I didn't really like the way that it fitted. So yeah I went in and I picked up some actual clothes um, because I thought I've been thinking for ages that I wanted some a pair of black jeans. Ages ago I bought some of the body sculpt jeans in blue. Um, I decided to get the same but this time I've got them in black. Um, I went for 16 this time. I'm between a 14 and a 16. Um, I'm more 14 on like my calves and my lower leg, but my thighs and hips, backside, like that sort of area is more of a 16 really. So yeah, so I decided to go for a size 16 because jeans do tend to shrink anyway. Um, so yeah, so I got the black wash. I got the size 16 leg 32. Um, when I put these up against myself when I got home, I thought the leg length looked a little bit long. I'm quite glad that I've got a black pair of jeans because before I was just wearing a black pair of sports leggings and that's what I'm wearing now. Um, <laughs> and sometimes you just want to wear a nice top, but it looks a bit weird when you're wearing gym leggings. So yeah, so I'm glad I've got an actual black pair of jeans. Um, these were, by the way, um, these are £13. First things first, please ignore this guy. I'm trying to revive him. He he doesn't look too healthy. But for the first time ever, I've actually had to roll up the legs of these. I usually get a 32 inch leg. Um, so I don't know why these are so long on me. Like, have my legs shrunk? I very much doubt it. Um, but I am so glad that I sized up in these. So I got a size 16. In the blue ones that I bought back along, I bought a size 14 and they fit perfect, they were fine. But these, <laughs> I don't know, you can probably tell that I'm a little bit out of breath. I have just fought with these jeans. Um, but I don't know if it's just because, you know, they're new, um, but I do like them. I think I will keep them. Um, I think they just need to stretch out a little bit and just, yeah. I don't know. I suppose every um, size 16 is slightly different, um, but these are even quite tight around my calves. I think a size 18 will just be way too big around the waist, so I'm just going to persevere. I'm going to keep these ones. So I picked up this black and white um, kind of chevron type jumper. I mean, it's kind of a jumper. It has like a slight knitted feel to it. Um, like a knitwear feel to it but it's it's quite thin um, but yeah I thought this would be quite good for transitioning months um, and from how it was hung on the hanger it looks like it'd be like a sort of boxy shape and it kind of just drapes around um, so I got a size large in that one so that's a 14 to 16 and it's from their Primark Cares range which is their like more sustainable um, branding within Primark I think I've mentioned quite a few times in my videos that I do try and uh, thrift a lot of my clothing, so either through Depop, Vinted, um, sometimes eBay but not very often, um, and charity shops. So I do try to buy things secondhand before just buying straight brand new. Um, yeah, so I really like this one. I hope it fits nicely, 
the same with Primark stuff, it always ends up with loose threads. <laughs> um, yeah, but hopefully that fits nice. Oh, and it was £10 if I didn't already say. And this is the black and white, like, chevron kind of thing. It's kind of like an arrow. It has got a bat wing, <laughs> um, like, arm style to it. And when it's out, it is actually quite long. So it comes to about there. It does go past my bum. Um, so if I were to wear this with leggings, then I could. It's that really, like flimsy stretchy material so you can wear it like any way that you want um i think i would definitely not wear it with black though because i feel like it kind of just all blends in um but no i think i'm definitely gonna keep this i think it's really comfy i like that on the sleeves it goes um tighter um so it's like comforting i'm one of those people that likes to have their sleeve like up past their knuckles um it's just a comfort thing for me um and then on the sides it's like sort of panelled and then like the knitted um type texture so they did it where the top bit was black and then this bit was white i may like it a bit more um but i do still really like it and i will definitely be keeping it <laughs> then the next thing i picked up is this t-shirt but i'm a little bit annoyed with myself <laughs> So I opened up the top one which was like a size 8 or something tiny like that and I thought oh yeah that's really pretty, really up my street, just picked it up in my size, didn't actually open it before putting it in my little basket and it's actually twisted um, so I don't know if you can see, hang on, if I wear it, so my boobs are here the top, like this bit, is slightly over to the side, um, which is really friggin' annoying. But I will try it on just to make sure that I do like the fit and style, otherwise I'll just take it back and just get my money back. Um, so in this one I picked up a size large, which is a 14 to 16 again, and it was only £2.50, which I think is an absolute bargain. Um, it does have a tinsy bit of stretch to the fabric so i think it's one of those materials that would actually wash quite nicely and hold its shape so this is the lavender top and as you can see it is completely <laughs> wonky like literally the two seams are here and the print is like kind of going like down the side of my boob um <laughs> as for the size of this like overall fit of this I don't know if I love it it's also quite see-through like you can see that I'm wearing a white bra and you can see my jeans for it I know you're supposed to like I don't know like tuck them in or whatever no I think this one is definitely going back and I won't be getting a different size or a different one to like fix the <laughs> wonky print the last of the clothing things I picked up was this uh, I don't know, rusty coloured tank top. Um, kind of matches the colouring of this jumper that I'm wearing. I love their little vests like this because they're ideal for wearing underneath jumpers and stuff like that, and just general layering. So I picked up the size large, which again is the 14 to 16, and this was only £1.80. <laughs> I find these last forever. And then I also had a quick look again at their earrings. Um, and I picked up another little set of one pound earrings. Um, so they are florals, they have loads of little tiny um, like pearls and little flower style earrings. I will show you and actually show you properly because I noticed as I was editing the last set of earrings that I showed you, it was barely in focus. I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, these are the earrings. They're very pretty. I really like this one here and there's like a which one is that oh these ones down here as well I really like those too and as I was in town I thought I'd have a little look around the charity shops didn't actually find anything in the charity shops that were in town um but I did go to one that was a little bit closer to us it's about a 10 minute walk really from us so I'll start off with the things for me there seems to be a color theme with me at the moment I think my mindset is definitely in the mood for autumn and like autumnal colours like mustards, oranges, I mean. <laughs> Look at the jumper I went for today. Um, so yeah, so I saw this one and it's a Primark 
top it looks very creased but it's like a slouchy blouse sort of thing and then i think these sleeves have a bit of a like sort of bat wing style to them but you can roll them up although what i have just noticed is that there is a pull on the sleeve which i didn't see in the shop but that's fine worst comes to the worst what i can do is always um depending on where it's to i could even turn it into like a little embroidery project to like cover up the pulling so that's fine it makes no difference to me and then i bought another <laughs> autumn themed thing um this is a new look jumper and i've been eyeing up this material like type jumpers for ages so it's like that teddy bear um oh i don't know how you actually say the word i always want to say chanel but that's completely wrong you probably know exactly the fabric that i mean but like the really soft like fluffy sort of fabric i don't know it just feels really spongy like look at it there Mm. And I thought it would just look really nice again with my black jeans that I bought. I'm really hoping they fit okay. <laughs> and then the last thing I bought for me is I don't know, a little bit naughty, I suppose. Um, but it's a handbag, but I absolutely love it. And the crazy thing is, <laughs> it only cost me £2.50. £2.50 and it is beautiful. It's from a brand called Capsule, um, your wardrobe, your ultimate wardrobe staples. Um, I don't know if it is real leather, that's the only thing, but it feels very um, soft and like malleable, so I don't know. Either way, I absolutely love it, so it has a nice bit of room on the inside like there's loads of room there's a little pocket here it zips up nicely kind of reminds me of like an old school um like satchel like that sort of vibe um but no i absolutely loved it it's going to be ideal um for when we go out i'll start going out a little bit more because it's a good size for me to fit my vlogging camera in so and that's actually on the tripod as well so i really really like this I would have paid the full price for it. The full price was £5, but at £2.50, I feel like it was an absolute bargain. I really, really love it. Um, it's definitely going to become my everyday bag. And then I bought two things for the shop. Um, if you uh, are new or you don't know, I do run an Etsy and Depop shop called Thrifty Fox Treasures, where I find secondhand homeware um, that has like a cosy sort of aesthetic in a way um i don't really know how to describe the stuff that i pick up i just pick up the things that i would personally have in my own home and to be honest with you a lot of the time i do end up keeping a lot of the stuff for myself so one thing that i always pick up are wooden jewelry boxes because i think they are just such a beautiful um unique uh, thing so this one has like a beautiful uh, floral carving there and then it's got these gold inlays all the way around um these ones are usually made in india um from what i found in the past um but neither of these have it stamped on the bottom to say that they are made in india and then on the inside it's like a felt sort of lining um so that is that one very pretty and then they also had this one which has elephants on <laughs> and this one is very different to what i'd usually pick up i'd always pick up the things that have like floral carvings or something like that um but i just thought it was quite unique it kind of reminds me of a sandwich box i don't know why i think it's because it's like cut into like little triangles that way um but yeah but it's quite a shallow little jewelry box when i say jewelry box you can literally use these for absolutely anything um or just general decoration and then on the inside of this one it's just wood and yeah i don't know when these will end up on the shop like all my things i give my subscribers or instagram followers a 20 percent off discount um so please if you do decide to that you want anything from my shop please message me first because i want to give you that discount as like a thank you for supporting like us as a little family and just the channel and the shop and everything in general so please do let me know if you decide 
but you would like to purchase anything all the links will be down below um to my shop so yeah so that's everything that i got today um i will let the rest of the video carry on now and see you soon okay so that is everything that i've got from primark recently i'm gonna mention my water bottle <laughs> kind of boring um but i made my first purchase with oliver bonus anyone knows me they will know that i am obsessed with plants you can see my little collection of plants behind me <laughs> um and the camera is in between the load too um so this is a glass water bottle and i've been really trying to drink a lot more water recently obviously with the hot weather as well you kind of need to keep hydrated um, so I bought myself this one, it was in the sale and it was £7.50 but because it was my first purchase I actually got a £5 off coupon <laughs> so it meant that this was only £2.50 and obviously plus postage. Um, so yeah, really happy. Um, the only thing that I have noticed is a screw top lid by the way and then it's like an open like top. I had to restart the camera because I had a funny five minutes where it wouldn't want to focus anything, not even my face. Um, but I couldn't get it to focus on this anyway. Um, there's three um, little tiny indents in the very top of this lip, lid of the bottle. And obviously because it's glass, it's, it's a little bit sharp, really. And I'm not really too sure if it's something that I should send back or not because I'm worried with me screwing on the lid obviously it's putting pressure on those little cracks and I don't want it to like shatter or I drink from it and I end up cutting myself so I don't really know <laughs> what do you think what would you do in this situation um but beside that I do absolutely love this bottle I think it is very pretty I'm not sure if they still have them on their website um but if they do, I will link it down below. Um, and if you haven't made a first order, um, subscribe to their mailing list first because that's how I got the £5 discount. And then the last two things are actually from a Depop seller. So obviously in England, you have to wear a mask. So I bought this one um, and it's a really nice, well-made mask. It has three layers of 100% um, cotton lining and then in the side here you can put your own little um, filter sheets through if you want to so I bought this from a seller on Depop called Boxes of Cody and she does loads and loads of different masks I am planning on buying a few more I'm just trying to decide which ones I want because she has so many lovely patterned fabrics and I just can't decide which one I want. But the thing that I love the most of these is that they have adjustable ear toggles. So I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a little bead on the end. So you can, it's relatively tight, but the nice thing is, is it stays there. So I can pull on that as much as I want and that bead will not budge. The bands around it stretch to it. Plus the bit that goes over your nose it has a metal little bendy strip in there. So then you can really mold it to your face but yeah so i absolutely love this and the print of it I, let me just show you a minute so it's like a dark navy and sunflower print and then on the inside it's yellow please do excuse if you can see that little bit of pink lipstick um <laughs> i forgot that i was wearing a bright lip one day when i wore this and it stained it obviously it has been through the wash um, and this is fresh out the wash. I'm not just handling something that I've been out and about in already. These are machine washable as well. So that's another thing that I highly love about these. I did buy Toby one in just plain black and he seems to like that one as well. But she also makes reusable makeup wipes. So I got the same sort of sunflower pattern. The back bit is more of a lighter navy blue, so more of like a royal blue. And usually she does the same print on both sides. Um, but <laughs> at the time that I was placing my order, I said to her that I was worried that my mascara would like ruin the sunflower print and it's just too pretty. So I originally asked for just plain black. Um, and she said, well, what I can do is like do one side sunflower and then one side black. So she did that for me, bless her. And I love them. And I will leave the links to all of these 
down below so you can check them out and have a look yourself and that's the end of my tiny little haul um i might do these as a monthly thing i don't tend to buy a lot of stuff anyway um but as and when i go shopping maybe i will just pop a little haul on youtube so then you can see what's about and what i'm picking up at the moment i hope you enjoyed this video guys and i will see you in the next one bye <laughs>